guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be talking about the new Natasha Denona mini, I mean baby glam palette. So this is the picture over here. So I have actually purchased her mini Metropolis palette. But the palette will come in at a later date because I purchased it together with the uh, the Nessa Myricks palette on Beauty Leash and that palette will only ship on 30th October so my whole order will be shipped then so I will give a review on the mini Metropolis palette then so today I will be talking about the Baby Glam palette so I already have her midi glam palette and it is said that the shades are actually what we already have in her glam palette so we actually have this shade over here and followed by these two colors for the baby glam and so now i have a mini palette empty palette of this this is the makeup forever empty palette so i am going to create my own baby glam palette because the baby glam palette is just so cute i was really tempted to buy it because it looks so travel friendly and so cute but when i see the price i think it's a little bit pricey i think it costs about 19 usd so i think that's a bit too expensive so I'm going to just go on ahead and pop out these three colors from the Glam palette and put it in this mini palette. So the bad news is I can't fit this little shade over in this mini palette. So it comes out of the palette. So this palette is a little bit too small to fit three shades in. So I have another palette over here, it's also from the Makeup Forever. So this is a longer palette compared to this. So I'm going to just quickly pop in the head and put these three colors in. So these are the three shades in my Makeup Forever palette. And now I will go in and do a quick look using these three colors on my eyes. So I have just taken off my makeup. My earlier eyeshadow that I had on was actually from the newest Pat McGrath launch. It is her new quad, the Bronze Borealis palette. So I will leave a link in the description now, description box down below. I have actually reviewed that palette. So do watch that video if you are interested. So now let's get on with the eye look using my baby glam palette. So we'll first take this shade and put it on my crease. So this is a very very light shade. Pull in the camera more. So next up, I will take this shimmery shade and put it at the center part of my lid. So this is a nice subtle shimmery shade. And lastly, I will use the darkest shade 
this matte shade over here to darken out my crease I mean darken out the outer corner of my eye so this actually isn't a very dark color so I will try to bring this down to the lower part of my eye and lastly I'm going to use this shiny shimmery color again to lighten the inner corner of my eyelid I'm going to bring this down to my lower lash line as well So I will go ahead, put some eyeliner and mascara and I will be right back. So this is my final look. It does look pretty but I feel that it would be better if Natasha Denona put a much darker colour for us to add more dimension to our outer corner of our lids. So, for my little palette over here, I would like to add in a deeper shade. So let me just quickly go in and do that. I will be adding a darker shade. Maybe perhaps I will use this color. Yeah, so let me just quickly pop this color in to my little palette and I will be right back. So this is how it looks like. This is my mini palette. My mini baby glam palette. So I'm really happy with my baby glam palette. I feel that this is much more versatile than her baby glam. Because for this, I can just easily pop up the shades from her midi glam and get the shades I want. As compared to her baby glam, I do believe that you can't pop up those shades. Those are not magnetic. So, I want to just quickly go ahead and deepen out my outer corners with this darker shade over here. This is the smoke color in her palette. So, this gives me much more dimension. More definition to my eyes. And I can bring this down to my lower lash line as well. This will give my eyes more definition. So that's it. So you can easily get this palette from Sephora or from the Makeup Forever website. I believe these palettes are relatively cheap and this is really very versatile and user friendly. So that's it for my video for today. Do stay tuned to my channel and I will be posting a review on the new Danessa Myricks palette as well as the mini Metropolis palette when it arrives. Thank you and see you all. Do like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you again soon. Bye guys.